been a beautiful spell of weather we've been enjoying for a few days now. Uh, going back to last week, well, we've been in the 60s and now approaching 70 degrees even yesterday uh, with a high of 68 degrees, way above the seasonal average, not even as warm as 70. And we're going to see that today, I think, later on. 70s return to the area for the first time in more than a week. Here's a look at that beautiful footage from Sunday. Time lapse from our Lewis Auto camera from Assisi Heights. Not a cloud in the sky. A little bit of a south breeze. Yesterday was a less windy day than Saturday. Yesterday was a, just a picture perfect mid-October day. Hopefully you got a chance to enjoy that one today. Uh, well, if you get a chance to enjoy this one as well, they have some moonlight outside, some starlight as well. Now looking northward from uh, the heart of Rochester. That's our Lewis Auto camera. Ridge 68 yesterday. We're looking at about 72 later today. Starting seasonably chilly, 47 on the weather patio here at the northwest side of Rochester. It feels like 43. Winds are fairly tame so far. They will pick up in time at times gusting beyond 20 miles per hour. Again, this is going to help us warm up very quickly today, going from the low 40s to the low 70s. About a 30 degree jump in temperatures in most spots by day's end. 41 right now in Rochester, Zabrota 46, Northwood Iowa 42, Rushford 47. Uh, some stars outside right now. 41 current temperature at the Rochester International Airport. 36 the wind chill. Air pressure is steady compared to this time yesterday when we had some frost today around 37. Incidentally, that morning low temperature officially had 36 at my house in northeast Rochester. We had a little bit of frost in the grass and the leaves on the ground as well. Kind of a frosty start to our Sunday not quite so much today. A little more of a breeze. Temperature is a little bit warmer. 3 degrees warmer. Rochester officially Dodge Center. 14 degrees warmer. Mason City, 4 degrees warmer. Sky is completely clear. With clear skies, light winds just northeast of us. There's a frost advisory of parts of central and north central Wisconsin. All the way from around Toma toward uh, uh, Wisconsin Dells and also uh, right around uh, the uh, Wausau area. So we're looking at some frosty stuff up there, but not here. We're looking at uh, an improving situation from where we were yesterday and more of that warmth will build in on the back side of high pressure ahead of an approaching storm system. Uh, that is going to move in for uh, the uh, middle part of the week. That system will bring a chance of showers and eventually that cold front will usher in colder air behind it. That's going to be what we'll be facing later this week. In fact, maybe be just as much below average as we are above average to start the week by the end of the week. So big changes are ahead. 41 right now in Rochester. Meanwhile, this morning, International Falls 39. Already signs of warmth to the west. A lot of 40s, not as many 30s. 52, in fact, in Fargo, but 44 in Rapid City, South Dakota. So breezy, warm today on our way to low 70s. Right over room temperature conditions. We'll do it again tomorrow before that system on Wednesday brings a chance of showers, maybe even some thunder. And then we see things getting a little bit drier, but a little bit cooler and uh, still fairly sunny late in the week, but this morning sunshine, a, a crisp, cool morning, 41 for that morning commute starting in the 40s, reaching 50s before lunchtime, 72 by 3 o'clock. It represented the high temperature for today, about 15 degrees above the seasonal average tonight, 50s in the evening hours, dropping pretty quickly, but staying right around 50 in the overnight hours, a little more of a south breeze. A future track today, some sunshine, very few clouds regionally. Look for some uh, beautiful, uh, well, September-like weather in the 70s instead of the more seasonable 50s or even 60s, uh, even what we had over the weekend, warmer than that. Just a thin cloud or two tonight, then the gusty sunshine again tomorrow, especially in the afternoon, with more of that warm air mixing down uh, from that uh, warmer layer aloft. And then as that cold front approaches, we'll have increasing cloud cover tomorrow night heading into uh, Thursday, or Wednesday rather. Chance of showers, perhaps a rumble of thunder by afternoon. The storm system from the west moves through a little snow west of us. We're not going to see that, but we'll see some cooler uh, rainier showers, uh, rainy showers uh, uh, on uh, Wednesday, showery weather, shall we say. Temperatures in the 60s there. And then by the time we get to Friday, we're talking barely getting to the 50s. In fact, not even getting there by Saturday. Temperatures cooler than 50. Definitely the coldest stretch of weather we will have seen this season. 57 would be the seasonal average. And again, by the weekend, below the average for a while. 72 today, though, breezy and warm. Plenty of sunshine. South winds 10 to 20 miles per hour tonight. Mainly clear skies, maybe a thin cloud too late, 52 or 50 degrees overnight. Seven day forecast, 70s, then 60s, and then we drop to the 40s and 50s. Pretty chilly stuff, <laughs> even by mid October standards. Those yeah. are numbers we see maybe early November, just for a couple of days there, though. So I'm reminding us that we're moving <laughs> in that direction and that, you know, for every day that we're above average, it seems like it always evens out somewhere. Yeah, I know in a perfect world we would have flopped this weekend and today and tomorrow with the MEA break because so many families are going to be mm -hmm. off. But, right. you know, we just go with it and make the best of it. That's, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Thank you, Ted.